Oh, Ren, what are you doing here? I'm like your daughter. I've never been a thatched hut with a dirt floor kind of gal. Mm. I've got a nicely appointed broom closet here. Good for you. You know, I blame you for this whole shit show. That's what you think of it? You don't? Lily's happy. And after four years of watching her beat herself up at college, I love to see that. I thought you might, too. Damn, yeah, happy is great. Lily happy is the greatest of all. It's just that a weird thing happens when you become a parent. When your kid is down, when they're in pain, it kills you. But when they're up, when things are going great, that's when you get really scared because you don't want it to change. You know it will. Does it always? <laughs> mm. Lily's never said, what happened with you and Mrs. C? Same thing happens in every relationship. When it started out, it was unreal. And it got real. <laughs> we used to bike out this place by the lake. Read, eat, whatever. And then one day I saw that that place, that spot, was for sale. Now, we were young, we had nothing. But I said, someday we should live here. And then she said, with that smile on her voice, why wait? Why save the good stuff for later? Don't we deserve some good stuff along the way? Uh, she was right, which happens occasionally. <laughs> We saved and we scrambled, and next thing you know, I'm building the perfect house in the perfect spot. So I was busy. I was working, paying off our debt. I was tired. She was tired. And pretty soon, it didn't feel like we were married at all. It just felt like we were running a daycare camp with someone I used to go out with. We were sniping, we were fighting, we were tearing each other down. And I thought if I could just get her in that house, fix everything. Make everything okay. So, one night I get a call from the people who lived across the lake. They said they'd seen these flames. By the time I got there, it was just ash. Three weeks later, we were done. Over a house? Seemed like a lot more than that. Good night, Ray.